Ming Lava Shen, I'm Oma and welcome to Oma Discoveries. Today, I would like to introduce you to a very special destination in Myanmar. When you hear me talk about special destinations typically of Myanmar, you might be picturing about temples, monasteries, or oh, another pagoda. No, no, no. I call it special because it is my hometown and it is the best town to access over 800 in touch islands and their amazing white sand beaches. And this is Khao Tang. Khao Tang is the most southern part of town in Myanmar. It is on the border with Thailand, the town of Renong. It was founded in the 19th century. During the British colonial time, it was known as Victoria Point. To travel to Khao Tang from Yangon, it will take you two and a half hours by flight with one or two stops on the way. If you are crazy enough to go there by bus, it will take you 30 hours. It is pretty far, but you can go if you want. Of course, you can go there by car as well. When we see foreigners in a small town, we used to call them Lu Piu. Lu is people and Piu is white, white people or English. It means English. In our mind, all foreigners were English and they are all white people. We only realize long after the different nationalities and diversity of the world outside Myanmar. My hometown is a hilly small town sitting by the sea. We have a nice mountain to watch the sunset, waterfall, hot spring, and awesome beaches. Uh, Khao Tang is the base town to access to the fabulous island by boat. My favorite island is Kok Kam Island. It is two hours away by speedboat. We used to call them heart-shaped island. In Myanmar, we call a bear bone jung because heart means a bear and jung is island. We call heart-shaped island. You can clearly see the heart-shaped pool in the middle of the island and it is very beautiful. When I went there, I could swim through the archway into the center of the island I could swim, I could do snorkeling, and it was very beautiful. The next island is Lampik Marine National Park Island. I was lucky to visit there. It is indeed the only marine national park in Myanmar. It has been ASEAN Heritage Park since 2003. As a protective area, if the foreigner wants to visit there, they need the permit from ministries of hotels and tourism. It has mangroves, forests, beaches, and coral reefs. When I went there with my friends, we were able to canoe down the river into the mangrove forest and it was very beautiful. I also had a chance to do the short trek on the island. We walked through the forest and we saw the huge trees and different kinds of birds. For the lunch break, we stopped on a white sand beach island where we were able to swim and snorkel among the coral reefs. It was very nice. When we were sailing between the islands, we even see the dolphins. Until now, Lampi Island has remained unexplored and stayed unknown to tourists. There are many other islands to visit and they are very unique. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please like and share our video. This means a lot to us and this gives us a lot of energy to continue our more discovery projects. Jesus and Tata, see you in my next videos.